Hey everyone, it's me Lisa and I'm coming at you with another video. So is TikTok right? Very many months ago, if you follow me on TikTok you might have seen this video, but probably not because it was ages and ages ago. So the video in question selected a book for me that it said that I was that book. I don't know, I've never heard of it, so let's get into it. Today we are going to review Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. This was quite an interesting read. As always, I didn't read any premise anything, but I'm gonna read to you what it says here on the app that I read it in. In one of the most acclaimed novels of recent years, Kazuo Ishiguro imagines the lives of a group of students growing up in a darkly skewed version of contemporary England. Narrated by Kathy, now 31, Never Let Me Go, dramatizes her attempts to come to terms with her childhood at the seemingly idyllic Hailsham School and with the fate that has always awaited her and her closest friends in the wider world. A story of love, friendship and memory Never let me go charged throughout with a sense of the fragility of life. I like the fact that it doesn't say anything because I don't think people should be spoiled stuff. So that is pretty much what I went into with nothing. The novel itself, and here comes a bit of a spoiler territory, dives into Kathy's life and she narrates everything in diaryish format or still it's an account of everything that she went through or the main events that she went through in school and the things that she did and what happened and the destiny of this group of things slash people is to become donors or carers and carers is someone that takes care of the donors the donors are there to donate organs for other people and the reason why they do that is because they are clones. So being clones, they are obviously harvested or created to become donors. But what comes out in this process is that still they do have some type of humanness to themselves as they are raised in a human environment and they do experience human things and they do have feeling for them, feeling for one another, feelings towards things and they can discern everything as clones but they are still regarded as lesser than because people are mainly either scared of them because a clone could be something that is better than them or another version of themselves that they cannot come to terms with That's because they are so human, even though they were created in such an artificial way. Instead of the organic way of creating life through the womb, they are created just for the purpose of donating the organs and therefore saving human life. But by doing that, they are to be destroyed, they are to die young, they are to just take everything out of themselves to donate it to humans. And I liked the interesting thing that came out of it that was if clones are fully formed they become beings in themselves cloned after someone but they still are a being in themselves that is different from their clone has lived a completely different experience and is therefore not to be paired up with their own clone because they have nothing in common except the external appearance which is a very small part of being human because what differentiates us is not only in the way we look but most of all in the way we experience things those things that we have done even if we are the same skin tone same skin color the same exact way of dressing way of presenting ourselves that still doesn't make us the same person and therefore it's very hard in this one to think about would you justify it as a thing if a clone was there to save someone of your family by donating their organs would that justify it i am very puzzled about that and i think it's a really important thing to reflect on if we are to ever get down that route and do it with full-on clones would that ever be 
an ethical thing. I don't know. That is something that you have to answer for yourself. I think that something that I didn't like was it was very slow because the narration was very slow. Kathy was narrating everything very slowly going into very deep detail and I know that in Japanese writing that is a thing to just be very deep about the experience of the individual, very detailed. It's maybe something that I don't love and just a me thing. I didn't love that. I didn't love the execution. I didn't love that the whole story really had a hard time pulling me in because they are purposefully put down as they tell us that they are clones but the way that Kathy describes everything it really looks human so it's really hard to make that discernment and I think that that is something that the author was going for and therefore is interesting but also made me step out of it a little bit because you don't get the stakes until later on and what they're going to do in the human world. The connection between the title and the story is cool in a way but also that one you will discover very much later on in the story. One of the guys slash clones that is the, one of the main side characters, Tommy, seems to have some kind of disability but overall I found him to be the absolute best of the characters because because of the simplicity of the way he looked at things he was the most genuine and the better one overall because the other ones are all concerned with how to approach others, how to present themselves, what to say, what to not say, all of the dynamics are a bit flimsy and I didn't love the dynamics so overall I like Tommy best. Kathy is okay-ish, put a full head over heels over her. The other main character is Ruth and Ruth I didn't really like as a character. She is quite manipulative, wanting to have the center of attention and even if at the end she has some kind of redemption arc, all of the things that she does to bring the attention to herself, to bring the power to herself and to hinder the happiness of her friends, uh, it's not ideal. I like the fact that the character lives in a world where they are created to be defeated, created to be used and that is important for their purpose and their purpose is more important than who they are. Even if they are clones, the purpose overrides anything else about themselves because they cannot have dreams, they cannot have anything going forward to them because every dream that they will have will be squashed. It was also scary to reflect on the importance of the clones of medicine and development but on the other hand seeing the way it further exploits people resources and it brings us out of being ethical. One of my bible readings today, one of the reflections was that with development, heartlessness kind of follows because in the name of progress, we are willing and able to do anything that goes beyond the realm of the thinkable and of the acceptable. I know that, for example, there is a lot of a discussion around the babies that come out of artificial wombs and what that does and the fact that the, those babies, some of them will be born and some others won't because they will be frozen. And even if you can do it, is that ethical? Is that something that we should be doing? And I think that that's the same thing with this novel. Should we be using clones to just think about people without ever thinking that they could be people themselves? I know it's a bit of a stretch because we don't really know what a human clone would actually be like, but it's something to think about. And I think that this one will make me think about it for a long time but the execution of the whole book made me give it three stars but overall do i have to thank tiktok for making me read this book i don't know i don't want to give it to tiktok i don't want to give it to the algorithm i have to say if i didn't read it i think i might have not missed the execution of the book but i might have missed on the reflection that it gave to me so it's a half a point for tiktok if the filter was called the book you are does tiktok think that i'm poor execution good deep thoughts 
Does TikTok think that about me? Am I that unbearable? I don't know. Maybe TikTok is right. Let's not judge TikTok for its bias against me. It's fine. The book was okay, so overall I'm happy. And I think if you didn't read it, you might want to give it a go. It has over 600,000, almost 700,000 reviews on Greeds. It's very popular. So I hope that you liked this review and this experience. And if you want to see more, like this video, comment, subscribe, and we'll see each other in the next one. Bye, guys!